Hey everyone, a lot of people find practicing yoga a bit challenging due to difficult poses and styles. But did you know that restorative yoga is all about gentle movements and practice at a slow pace, focusing on long holds and deep breathing. So let's start with our first asana, restorative matsyasana or restorative fish pose. The fish pose can help release tension in your neck and shoulders. It also opens up your chest and improves the functioning of your lungs. Now how to do this pose? You're going to need one bolster or two long pillows to perform this pose. Place the bolster or two pillows on top of each other in the center of your mat. Start in a seated position with the pillows or the bolster at your back and lengthen your legs. With the support of your arms, lie down and make sure even your head is resting on the prop. Rest your arms at your sides, palms facing up. Place your legs two feet apart and ankles relaxed, toes pointing outwards. Close your eyes and take slow, deep breaths. Stay in this pose for anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. Come out of this pose, slowly bend your knees, turn over to one side and with the support of your palms and forearms, sit yourself up. However, avoid this pose in cases of severe back, shoulder and neck injuries. Now the next pose is Restorative Balasana, that is Restorative Child's Pose. This pose improves the flexibility of your back and hips in a gentle manner as well as it improves your digestion. The props you're going to need are one bolster or two long pillows, whichever available. To do this pose, kneel on the floor with your knees hip width apart, big toes touching, buttocks on your heels. Place a bolster or two long pillows between your thighs. Exhaling, walk your palms forward and lower your upper body onto the prop. Rest your forearms on either side on the mat and the side of your cheek on the prop. Remain in this pose for anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes with deep breathing. To come out of the pose, use the support of your palms to sit yourself up. Avoid this pose in cases of slip disc and injuries to your knee, neck, groin or hip. Now the last asana is Restorative Shavasana or the Restorative Corpse Pose. This pose relieves headaches, fatigue, anxiety and even insomnia. It improves blood circulation and normalizes blood pressure and pulse rate. Use props like a folded blanket or a pillow underneath your knees to take the pressure off your lower back. Now how to do this pose? Lie down on your back. Keep your legs comfortably apart, hands away at a 45 degree angle with palms facing up. Keep a pillow or a folded blanket underneath your knees to reduce the pressure of your lower back. Once in this position, close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Try not to fidget during your practice. Stay in Shavasana for a few more minutes. To come out of the pose, make slow and gentle movements. Slowly bring your attention back to your body. Now turn over to your left side and make a pillow with your left arm. Keeping your right arm straight and on side of your body. Legs are slightly bent. Stay in this pose for a few seconds. Now with the support of your arm, slowly sit up in Sukhasana. Observe your breathing for a few seconds and now gently open your eyes. Avoid Shavasana in cases of depression and lower blood pressure. By allowing time for longer asanas and deeper breathing, restorative yoga can help reduce blood pressure and produce a feeling of calm and increased well-being. So guys, don't forget to try restorative yoga poses and remember to listen to your body throughout the practice. If any pose causes pain or discomfort, it's always okay to modify or stop it altogether. 
The key is to find what works for you and your body. Also, make sure to consult a medical practitioner before you try this at home to know what is right for you. Do share your thoughts with us and keep watching this space for more such content.